Hey, how's it going guys? Jack and Maddie with the Toaster Bros and today we got a budget king for you. This one's going to be 450 bucks and it features a GTX 1660 Super. Yeah, that car can be had for about 120 and 130 dollars on the used market right now. We did a full video on that. If you want to see that video, hit the eye in the top right corner. But 1660 Super, i3 10100F, it's going to be great for 1080p gaming, even some 1080p high refresh rate gaming. And we're going to show you exactly how well it can do that after we build it. But first, we got to pay some bills. Let's hear a word from today's sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by our friends at HP and their President's Day sale that is currently running until February 18th, where you can save a ton of cash on some awesome gaming PCs like their HP 25L with the Ryzen 7 5700G and RX 6700 XT for only $1,049. Or you can step up to the RTX 3070 and Intel Core i7 12725L for only $1,229. Both of these towers would be awesome for the latest greatest titles at 1080p on high frame rates or 1440p and beyond. HP runs a ton of promotions on their website, so even if you miss out on this President's Day sale, you should definitely check the link down below and see what kind of deals they're running on their gaming desktops and even gaming laptops. Big thanks again to our friends at HP for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get into it, shall we? So you heard us right, 450 bucks, and the only really used part that we have in this is our 1660 Super, so what's nice about this is it's pretty easy to wrap you can change out really any part you want. You can go newer, you can go older, you can go cheaper, you can go more expensive. That's kind of what we're here for. We're just giving you a basic guide and then you're going to take the wheel for the rest of it. So yeah, we're very excited to see how this thing performs. We kind of already know what the 1660 Super can do, but we're gonna pair it with a budget CPU like the 10100F and see exactly what kind of bottleneck we might have there. I don't expect much. I think it's gonna be a pretty balanced system and especially at the price point we built it at, it's gonna be really awesome. So let's go ahead and talk about each individual part and how it makes up this PC build. So this is the i3 10100F four core eight thread. And until the 12100 and the 13100 came out, this was the strongest four core eight thread on the market. And single core performance, absolutely amazing. That's what games really like is strong individual cores. I don't think there's really gonna be any bottleneck at all. There might be some newer games that might like more cores overall, but I really don't expect to see much of a difference. And obviously you could go all the way up to like an RTX 3060 with this. We've tested it before, we know it works. You might get a little bit of bottleneck beyond that, but it's an awesome CPU. Now for the motherboard, we have this MSI B460M Wi-Fi. Now, I lied when I said it was only the GPU. <laughs> Didn't even notice this, but whenever you see a box like this, usually it's like MSI's refurb boxes that you can get off of eBay. So this specific one is the Pro VDH Wi-Fi. For some reason, it's always these Wi-Fi boards. I don't know if maybe they just had like a problem with Wi-Fi, but I've noticed like Gigabyte, MSI, Asus, ASRock, they all have a lot of ASRock boards on eBay for around $40 to $70 a piece. I know it's a wide range. A wide range. A wide range, <laughs> Wabbit. I know that's a wide range, but just look around you can probably find a good deal. Now for RAM, I've seen this stuff about a thousand times. This is only DDR4 and it is 16 gigs, 3200 megahertz. You can get 3600, you can get slower, but yeah, 16 gigs, a lot of capacity. This is just 10th gen too, so you really can't go any faster on the speed. And lastly for the SSD, don't go with the gen four, get a gen three because you're really not gonna utilize gen four at all. This is a team group MP33 512 gig SSD. You can get a one terabyte, you can get a 512 for 256. Just don't get a gen four because you're wasting money. I see a lot of people do that for builds like this and it just doesn't make Makes sense. This right here is the graphics card. This is the 1662 where we've been talking about. You can buy these things used on eBay for about 120 to 130 dollars. The most I would spend is about 140 because after that you can go with the RX 6600 used for about 160, 170 dollars. But we are going through a period where inventory is kind of low on those, but that's for another video. But yeah, 1660 Super in big encoder, 6 gigs of VRAM, and uh, performs like a 1070. So very awesome card. Very excited to see how it pairs with the i3. And for the power supply, we have the Intermax Cyberbron power supply 500 watts 80 plus bronze will do the job for this pc build it's nothing too fancy it's very basic but when we're building a 450 dollars pc that's kind of what we're looking for we want something that's going to just be reliable and is going to get the job done and for the case this is kind of a throwback case i was really struggling to find something that was well different from some of the pc builds we've done and i just went back in time to the montech flyer which they actually still sell on ebay for about 60 bucks um, not the 49 dollars deal that it used to be but it's still a pretty nice case has some rgb up front a little bit of ventilation right here. And for the most part, actually, you know what? Is this the one that doesn't actually have any ventilation? Oh, it does. There's a little bit of ventilation. I remember <laughs> us see, having a case where like there were holes right here, but it didn't actually like go all the way through. But this does have a little bit of ventilation and it does come with a fan installed up front and in the back. So that's pretty cool. You got good airflow there. So yeah, $450 PC. I expect it to perform very well. Let's put it together and see how it performs.
All right, guys, we're playing some Overwatch competitive. I'm gonna show you guys the settings in just a second because I'm scared to die right now. He's deep in it with the junk rat. Graphics quality, oh, and ultra settings, actually, with Ooh. AMD. We do have SFR 1.0 turned on. Epic, okay. Yeah, yes. I, remember, I remember we thought ultra would be the max, and we saw there was epic, and we're like, oh, there's literally better. We could have been stressing our PCs even harder. But yeah, for a $450 PC, we're getting 100 plus FPS high refresh rate in Overwatch. Well, yeah, oh Overwatch is not, oh God, you're gonna get it. Oh. Uh, Overwatch isn't super hard to run, but it's still cool to see you can get a uh, pretty good experience. Yeah, obviously with this build guide, we're recommending you buy the 1660 Super used, so your mileage will vary depending on like temperature. Whatever model you get, the temperatures will probably be different. Ours has probably been through it, so a repacing would be a good idea if you want to keep this thing running. It's been through the ring. -a. Yeah, running in the 80s, low 80s, 70s. Wasn't needed. Mercy, quit dancing around my, around my little bombies. So shoot my bombs. Oh, there is someone back here. Ooh, nice hit. He took right that. on the jump. Oh, junk rat. You ready for this? We're gonna go. Boom. Oh, <laughs> the hog. And I forget hog can kind of, he can kind of tank some damage, can he? Oh God. Oh, he's ulting. I really did fall like right into that ult. You know, the hog main, it can just took him. I'm surprised it didn't kill me actually. No DPS, definitely clapping our DPS, which is me. I am, I'm a victim. I'm part of the problem. Where are they? I'm scared. Oh God. Oh God. Get them. Ooh. Junkrat, don't even try to junkrat back at me, bro. You literally can't step with me. Oh God. Oh no, it's I'm Hog. Get oh, I hear Hog unloading it on my teammates. Wow, you look at that. Shooting. You have a chance. Woo. You have a chance to outright get this dub. Get that Reinhardt. Oh, he just tried to ult and someone can't. Oh my God, get this Reaper away. Oh, the Reaper did its job. Oh my God. <laughs> Dude, he's literally, oh, oh. Ooh, that was good. I knocked it back with that. Got the really? payload. I got me ulti. Nice. Oh my God. Oh. Please. Well, unfortunately. May diff. Okay, May thank diff. God. Thank God it wasn't me. May diff. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was Overwatch 2. Let's give another game a try. Yeah. All right, guys, I am in Warzone, and Jackson is doing a BioSub on a computer at our PC selling business, PCPros.tech. You know what? We got a multitask here. But uh, yeah, as you can see right now, these are the settings we are running. We are on the balance preset, and we're right now getting 60 FPS. You could go basic or lower if you wanted to, but at least getting 60 FPS is more than playable, in my opinion, in a game like Warzone, especially when you're spending $450 on this PC. Can't really complain. Just like my cat ears. You can't really complain about my cat ears, can you? All right, baby, we are going in. Where did, where did this guy go? The guy just absolutely ran away from me. What a bot. Yeah, I, I personally, we are on the balance preset, but I most likely would run on a uh, basic um, so you can get more FPS to get a little bit higher 60, because I'd imagine some crazy scenes you might dip below 60 with this setup. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. But I'd say she she sure is playable. Ooh, they turned into a laser all of a sudden. What gun did they have? A, a RPK. Take her Get off. him! Leave me alone! Ah! Odin, I believe in you. Oh. But? But? Your teammate came to help? Oh, there's the jailer. I don't want to mess with that guy. Oh no! Oh. Did he get killed by the jailer? But hey, 450 PC, it can play Warzone and uh, we're gonna run some built-in benchmarks to show what else this thing can do.
All right guys, we just got done benchmarking this $450 gaming PC and for the first time in a while, we were playing Warzone at decent 1080p settings and we were getting 60 FPS pretty consistently. Obviously Overwatch and any other AAA title you could throw at this thing will work pretty well. Yeah, for 450 bucks, you really can't complain. As I mentioned during the benchmark run, you could go with something like an i3-12100, make this a $500 PC or maybe a little bit more, about 510 give or take. But uh, for 450 bucks, given the price constraints, I think it's a really good buy. And if if you want to build one yourself, check the links down below. there will be an affiliate link and it will help us out. Well, affiliate links, not affiliate link, Matt. And uh, yeah, let us know what you think of this $450 PC. If you would have done anything different, let us know down below. So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. And do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye. So this finished gaming PC has now been benchmarked, tested, activated, ready to go with a one year warranty and you'll be able to pick it up at PCBros.Tech. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and even merch. If you wanted Toasty Bros or PC Bros merch, go over to PCBros.Tech and use code TOASTYBROS2 on checkout to save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out. Buy a PC and some merch at the same time. Buy some merch for your PC, just saying.